welcome back to the Russia Show. Thanks for joining me. By the way, hit that subscribe button down below for more content, if you, especially if you like what you're seeing. I'm trying to make the product better, trying to do what I can, but let's get you right to that wrestling news, which you came here for in the first place. First off, Kenny Omega has kicked Adam Cole out of the Bullet Club, apparently because Adam Cole is headed to WWE. The, the belief is that because he was kicked out of the Bullet Club, it proves that he is not headed to, in, um, to New Japan um, Pro Wrestling, and he is headed to NXT, is the rumor going around. And that this Saturday at NXT TakeOver Chicago, he'll make some kind of large impact on the show. And will apparently get a really good, big, really big push on NXT. And I guess we'll learn more about it later. But at the end of the at the end of his match, where he was, um, he was uh, the fans were cheering for him and everything, and and stuff like that. It's basically supposed to be his farewell. Kenny Omega came on the screen and said, "Hey, you know, you're basically out. We're kicking you out. You're you're fired, as it were." And then Marty Scroll and some friends um, proceeded to beat up Adam Cole. And after that, they that's when the fans did their farewell. And apparently, he will be at NXT Takeover Chicago as soon as sat you know on Saturday. And if not there, sometime in the very near future. And this takes me on to another person who wasn't that long ago that they left New Japan Pro Wrestling and was and the Bullet Club, and that's AJ Styles. AJ Styles um, didn't go through the NXT system, and he believes that all new wrestlers should, and that maybe even he should have gone through the NXT thing so he could figure out how everything works in the WWE. He's like, everything is totally different from the indies, like, you know, from New Japan, Ring of Honor, and everything to um, WWE. He's like, it's just totally different, a lot harder. You, it's basically, it's sink, they put him out there sink or swim. You know, it's either, either he did really good, or he failed and he had been out of the company. And a lot of the new people, they need that. They, According to him, he feels that they need to go in through NXT. That way they're not just thrown in like he was, you know, And because you make one big mistake and they, you know, WWE is likely to, you know, can you get rid of you. So according to him, he believes that the young talent should go through NXT and that, you know, he has apparently told Triple H he thinks it's the best way for a lot of the young talent to go. Unless they just really have that it factor and they just really think they can pull it off. But the way he was talking was even he seems like he should have gone through the NXT um, training. That way he could have known you know more about the you know, cameras and the locations of everything how everything works. Because, you know, he said it was really hard and very difficult for him to get himself, you know, to be able to survive that first few months in the WWE. And that takes me to my last little bit of news. Uh, still from AJ Styles. Um, AJ Styles did a table for three um, on the WWE Network um, that re that recently went out on the WWE Network. It was with Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash, and in it he compares um, the people of the members of the uh, Bullet Club leaving New Japan Pro Wrestling and going to WWE. Like Finn Balor left first off, he says, and then you know it was you know him and. Gallows and Anderson leaving. He's like, he compared it to the WCW, you know, stealing away, you know, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall and breaking up the click back in the late 90s. And he compared it to that, saying it's pretty much the same thing, you know, because you had a bunch of, you had a really close core group of friends that really loved to hang out with each other. They went out, they did everything together and all that stuff. And he's like, it's kind of the same when, you know, he left because they left a lot of, you know, a lot of friends behind at New Japan Pro Wrestling that they really enjoyed. It was kind of, you know, kind of a similar difficult thing. It's, you know, still kind of heart-wrenching to leave your friends behind, even though you know you're doing what's best for you at the time. So be sure to check that out over on the WWE Network, um, Table for Three. Should be a good episode for you to watch if you've caught any of the others. It's, uh, some of the other episodes have been pretty cool. By the way, they're not, you know, they're not paying me to let you know that. I just really love the WWE Network and a lot of the stuff you get, a lot of information you can learn um, from some of those shows like Table for Three. And of course, I really enjoy watching, you know, some of the NXT stuff and things like that as well. But they're not paying me for any of that. It's just one of my favorite things to watch. That said, 
please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button too, and I guess I will see you on down the road.